Hey guys, this is my last Adafruit bonus setup video. Today I'll be showing you how to access the 2G network. So right in the terminal, the first command we're gonna enter is sudo su. This allows us to keep super user permissions throughout multiple commands. Next, we're gonna change directory. So we're gonna go cd at c, ppp, pierce, and hit enter. And once we're there, we're gonna enter the following command, wget, and there's this huge link, which I will post in the description. That beast in there, just hit enter. And I have pre-downloaded the file, so it went really fast for me. The next thing we're gonna do is uh, open the Fona config file that we just downloaded. So we're gonna go nano Fona. And once we have this open, we're gonna change uh, a couple lines of code in here. So first we're gonna find the one of the connect lines as shown here. So as you can see, I have uh, this line of code, and I think originally it kind of looks like this. So you kind of have four asterisks here, and these asterisks uh, represent your APN value. So this uh, value is going to be specific to carriers, I believe. Um, but the tutorial I followed just used um, internet instead of those asterisks, and that worked for me. If it doesn't work, uh, try researching your mobile provider for your phone and using the APN value they provide for that. But I'm going to just be using internet for this tutorial. So I'll type that in. Internet. Okay. And then also down here, I think um, originally this line was like AMA zero. Um, I think that's for if you're using the GPIO pins on the Raspberry Pi, but since I'm using a serial USB connection to my phone, I'm just going to change this line to um, TTY capital USB zero. And that should work for us. So now that we're done editing this file, we're just going to control X and Y to save our changes and then hit enter and we're back. So at this point we can just uh, type in exit to get out of this super user interface and now we are actually going to reboot our Pi to save our changes and we're also going to disconnect our network to make sure that we're not getting any interference with the uh, 2G data. So I'm going to switch cameras real quick and show you guys uh, everything once I get the network working. So I'll be right back. Now that everything's booted back up, the first thing I'm going to enter is sudo on and enter. We're not going to see any response um, in the command line, but if we type in the following command, we can see um, a log of the PPP status and the connections. Enter there. Okay, so um, down here we have the PPPD started by root. I don't know if you guys can see that. So line right there. Oh, sorry, it's kind of out of focus. But yeah, that line right there shows us um, the connection we established. And as you can see, we have local, remote, primary, secondary, all these um, IP addresses, which is what we want to see. So that's great. Zoom out a little. Okay. So now that we got all this, um, I'm gonna also type in. This is just a confirmation line, pretty much. Or in case you had any problems with the previous step, this will kind of show you the sources of your error. So I get this. Actually, this line is very similar to the last line of code. So if you just press the up arrow key on your keyboard, you can reload your last line. And instead of PPPD here, we're just gonna put in chat and hit enter. And wow, we have just a bunch, bunch of stuff. Um, just all these um, 
chat commands and stuff, and if you had any errors, usually they would appear here at the bottom of the file because those are the most recent um, status updates. So now what we're going to do is type in ifconfig. This is going to confirm the fact that we are connected to a network. So as you can see here, we do have a PPP0 uh, chunk here, and that's what we want to see. We also have uh, addresses for that, and that's great. That's what we want to see. So now we're going to try to ping a website. I'm just going to choose Facebook really quick, so click enter. And as you can see, oh, sorry, let me show you the how long that's taking. So yeah, as you can see that keeps updating. And yeah, so we get all this, all these ping lines. And in fact, our network is working. So that's great. And to stop this, just enter control C. And now we are going to test out the text-based browser. So if you followed my previous tutorial, you already installed, uh, I think it was eLinks. Yep. So this is a very bare bones um, way to look at internet pages. So let's open Twitter real quick. It's pretty much going to be uh, unrecognizable and the 2G connection is very slow. So this is going to take quite some time to load. But, oh man, <laughs> we, so as you can see, there's a very, very um, bare bones representation of Twitter website. And to escape um, from this, I'm just gonna press Q on the keyboard. Do I wanna end, uh, exit? Yes. And one thing to be careful of here, guys, is um, be wary of how much 2G data you're consuming. Some carriers put limits or um, charge extra if you go over a certain amount. So just always be wary of your service provider and how much data you're actually using. So now that we have that, we are actually going to stop our PPP connection with the following commands, sudo pof, p o f f uh, phone f. Let me show you guys that a little better. If I can zoom in, there that is. Hopefully that's a little more crisp. And then once we have that, we are just going to press enter and this should stop um, the PPP protocol from running. So that's all I have for today. Um, there is a way to establish the PPP connection on boot by changing the interfaces file, which is in the network directory, which is in the Etsy directory, but I haven't really had success with that. Um, if you guys would like to see a video on me demonstrating that, I'd be happy uh, to upload one. Uh, if not, leave any comments or questions below. And if you enjoyed this content, please consider liking the video or subscribing. Uh, thanks everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.